we have derived the equation of motion from a two degree of freedom system into a matrix form so the matrix consists of the mass matrix which is a square two by two matrix the stiffness matrix also a two by two matrix and for the acceleration and the displacement uh, the column vector with size of two by one matrix next i will write down this matrix in terms of symbols where m capital underscore for the mass matrix x double dots with curly symbols on the top denotes the column vector and the same for the stiffness matrix and the column vector for the displacement Now, because we are dealing with the harmonic motions, I can write down the displacement of the system in terms of the complex exponential notations where x equals to x capital e to the power j omega t. So by two times derivations, we have x double dot equals to minus omega square x e to the power j omega t. Remember that j is square root of minus 1. If you're not sure about this one, please refer to my previous video on the complex exponential notations. And then if we substitute this to the metric equations, we have minus omega square mx e to the power j omega t plus kx e to the power j omega t equals to 0. We can exclude the exponential terms here and if we rearrange this equation by locating the stiffness matrix on the front so we have k minus omega square m x equals to zero now what we have here is the equation of motion for a harmonic motions in matrix form for a two degree of freedom system we have two terms here. The first one is the first term, which is the square matrix component, k minus omega square m. And the second term is the column vector element, which is the displacement of the system. Because the products of this term is zero, thus one of them must be zero. Because any number multiplied by zero is zero. Now the question is, which one from these two terms cannot be zero? Yes, that's right. X cannot be zero because we have motions or displacement in the system. So if X cannot be zero, then K minus omega square M must be equals to zero. So the next question is from here, can we have the solution straight away that omega square equals to K over M? The answer is no because in these situations we cannot divide matrix by matrix straight away and get the solutions. So the way to obtain the solution is by using the concept of determinant in matrix. So determinant k minus omega square m equals to zero. The solutions obtained from here are the scalar quantity of omega, which we call the eigenvalues, or in this case are the natural frequencies of the two degree of freedom system. In the next video, we will put values of mass and stiffness constant of the spring so we can directly calculate the natural frequency of the system. Okay, bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.